Hello, booktube. Okay, so I am here again in the poor lighting with my face undone. Um, so I apologize. But I am here to do a review about a book that I have heard no one on booktube talk about, which I feel like is most of the books that I read, but still, that's why I'm here, to fill that space. Uh, okay, so today I'm going to talk about Perfidia by James Elroy. Um, it is a crime noir historical fiction novel, <laughs> um, which yes, it's a lot. Um, it is, uh, it takes place on the day of Pearl Harbor, the day before actually, and um, it follows the LAPD and it all takes place in LA and it's all very LA and they talk about using different freeways and stuff so it feels very like LA, you know? Um, I don't know if you know, but I know. Um, and then it goes into the racism that happens after Pearl Harbor with the internment camps, and it goes into um, corruption with the LAPD, um, corruption with the Chinese gangs that's happening, like, between the LAPD and stuff. Um, it goes into, like, communism and that scene. <laughs> Um, yeah, so it covers a lot of topics, and I personally think it's too many. <laughs> um, I feel like the book could have been four books, and he also writes a lot of series, so I'm like, honey, how and why do you fit that much stuff into one novel? Like, it felt crammed, um, in my opinion. I do, I adore the style and the tone of the book. It feels so dark and gritty, and you really feel like you're in a noir movie, and I feel like this would make a fantastic movie and uh LA Confidential was made into a movie I haven't watched it yet um but I'm going to even though it has Kevin Spacey and honestly like fuck Kevin Spacey but I'm going to watch it eventually um yes so I love the style I love the tone he does this like awesome repetition that really makes you feel like you're in the characters heads and that they're like obsessive and it's oh so good um yes so I love that um I don't like the couple things also. I don't like that it's got a thousand characters. There is a character glossary in the back, but it's not like that helpful. Um, because sometimes it'll just say this character appears in the big nowhere, which is another one of his novels. Um, which doesn't help with like that one. Like it, I don't know. Um, I felt like there were too many characters and you never really like follow them and I'm like, should I know this person? Like why I don't know. Okay. Um and I just can't help but forget about characters. And I feel bad because, like, ugh, but whatever. Um, I also felt like it feels really messy, but I don't know if it's intentional. Like, he doesn't tie up loose ends and he doesn't, um, like, all of the plot lines feel, like, weird. And there are some that are just, like, come out of nowhere and you're like, well, that's the answer to the mystery? Like, what? Like, I... But not in, like, a good, like, wow, I didn't expect that. Like, it's just, like, oh, that's the answer. And it just kind of gives it to you, which felt odd. Um, I loved Kay Lake and Hideo Oshida, who are two of the characters. Um, I love them so much. They're my favorite. Um, they are both really great. Um, they both end up doing bad things also. But, like, they're really, like, kind of badass characters and kind of, like, the underdogs, I guess, of the story. Um, yeah, I like them a lot. But I hated Dudley Smith, which is funny because I think that that's the character that embodies Elroy, and so, and he is in, like, a lot of the other novels. So I found it funny that I disliked him the most, but, um, according to my teacher, he's better in the other books, so. Who knows? He's kind of racist and awful, so. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. I um, I made a little list that I was referring to as I was looking over there. That's what I was doing. Um, but yeah, I also like, have you read any of Elroy's books? Should I start with a different one other than LA Confidential? Um, that's just the one I've heard about the most. So I feel like it's probably the best. That just tends to happen. But like, um, not always. That's not true. Slaughterhouse Five is not Vonnegut's best. Um, anyway, let me just bring Vonnegut into this. Um, yeah, that's my feelings about that. Okay, thank you for watching. 
Have a nice Labor Day weekend if you're in the U.S. Bye!